hello guys and girls welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to do analysis on five of my favorite prayers and while doing this analysis i'll be showing you the only strategy that i use and this strategy has been making me a lot of money so if you are a day trader and you want to see how i do my analysis that make me a lot of money then i would suggest that you watch this video until the end so i'm going to start doing analysis on volatility 10s index so guys and girls we as day traders the first thing that we normally do whenever we are starting to trade on a particular day is we are to start on the highest time frame and since we are day traders the four hour time frame is more than enough for us to start doing analysis on any pair of the day so we can see right now on volatility 10s1 index we can see that uh, the market was previously on a downtrend now the question that we are to ask ourselves is, is this downtrend still on? So how can we know that this downtrend market has been officially over or not? So we can know that if this market has been officially over or not is by going to the line graph because on the line graph we will get an unbiased market movement with no any weak rejections and any broker's manipulations. So let me shift from this candlestick market to the line graph. And on the right graph right here, you can see that the market did make some, some kind of lower lows and lower highs right here. And we can see that this market did already break this, the previous market's lower low of this downtrend movement, signifying us that this downtrend market has been officially over. So since we know that this downtrend market is over already, what we do next is we are to look for buy entry since we know that the market right now is on an uptrend movement. Now, how can we get entries on an uptrend movement? It's very simple. We go to the lower time frame. So I will progress slowly to the one hour time frame and see first what information that was hidden on the four hour time frame and that it is now visible on the one hour time frame. And on the one hour time frame, we can see uh, that the market is beautifully moving on the upside direction. And we can see this market is almost moving in a clear picture perfect movement. We can see we have very clear higher highs and higher lows in this movement, signifying as this market is very bullish. But again, the way this market has been moving on the one hour time frame, it is not so clear visible for us to get proper entry so we are to proceed again to the lowest time frame and right now is I will go to the 30 minute time frame and on the 30 minute time frame right here we can see that the market is still showing us how beautifully it is moving and it is very rare to find this kind of movements okay so if you get this kind of movements in your charts just know that these are the movements that you are to utilize them to the fullest and without any destroying any opportunity in front of your eyes so we can see right now that this market is moving uh, clearly making series of higher highs and higher lows you can see here it, the market broke this previous uh, high high it came to retest to this previous broken level it went back up and it came now to retest this previous broken level which could have been our entry now what are the entry conferences because knowing predicting how the market moves and knowing when to execute your strategy are two different strategies so how can you know that it is now the right time for you to get your entries the entry criteria of this strategy are very simple. First, when the market comes to retest to these previous levels, just know you are to look for only two things. And those two things can be found on the 30 minute time frame and in some cases on the 15 minute time frame. So what do you look when the market comes to retest to these levels? Very simple. The first thing is weak rejections. The weak rejections, I mean some things are of this nature right here because this when the market come to this level and provide you with something like this with a week to the downside direction when the market is on an uptrend it's signifying you that the sellers are still weaker on this movement and the buyers that are still strong and the first and the last thing that i normally use which it is very crucial is you should see 
any kind of reversal candlesticks patterns now there are a lot of reversal candlesticks patterns you can find some things like the doji candlesticks you can find some things like the evening star or the hammer the pin bar you should choose your favorite candlestick but for i and the personal look for doji candlesticks if you are a fan of my videos you can notice that i always say always look for doji candlesticks because the doji candlesticks are very very powerful and we can see right here when the market came to reach this level right here we did get our very beautiful doji candlestick and what the market did do after this formation of this doji candlestick it went back up okay now in some cases the doji candlestick can act as a continuation pattern for example in this case right here most of the traders newbie traders will say okay i can see that the market is making a doji candlestick and i know a doji candlestick is a reversal candlestick and you will find them drawing some imaginary levels like here and say okay let me enter some sell trades because on the 30 minute time frame i see a doji candlestick that's not the way it works guys and girls because do not forget the general market bias we came from the highest time frame and since we are on the four hour time frame we saw that this market is on an uptrend direction now do not come in the lower time frame and say okay since i see a doji candlestick and doji candlestick is a reversal let me look for sell entries and go against the general market bias on the higher time frame that's not the way to trade so in this case right here if you are on a huge capital this could have been your entry of buying so that you can continue to ride this trend in case you miss the entry here but if you are on low capitals and low capitals i mean under thousands or under 500 dollars is you should avoid this kind of entries and you should just concentrate more on this kind of entries because if you enter right here although this can act as a continuation pattern even if you enter these levels right here your stop loss the appropriate stop loss level should be around these levels and you can see it is very very huge stop loss compared if you could have got your entry right here so guys and girls knowing how to apply proper risk management it is very crucial because in order to be a successful trader you need a winning system of just one ratio two what what do i mean out of 10 trades out of 10 trades if you just win five of them and you lose five of them you still ought to be a successful trader so you just evaluate so because some people tell me sir uh how many years have you been trading i tell them less than eight years and they say and they tell me sir i've been trading for almost a decade but i'm not seeing results because well, how come you'll be trading on those over years and not see any results it just simply means that you are not evaluating your trades okay because only a system of one ratio two it is enough for you to be a successful trader